Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. U7 Buy also sells other things, not just coins, but gift cards and games at fantastic prices. What are you guys waiting for? This website is your one-stop shop. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at whether base icon Ferenc Pushkas is he still usable? Is he still a dangerous icon? He's four star skills, three star weak for high medium work rates. He's got some unbelievable stats. The one thing letting this car down is the three star weak fit. However, we know that his left foot doesn't matter what time it is in the game. It's going to be a very dangerous left foot. Now, this card for me is absolutely still usable. And the reason why is because he does so many things that are that are right. First of all, his pace is brilliant. Secondly, he's shooting on his left foot. I think Ferenc Pushkas for a long time had the best shot in the game. And then his Thunderstrokes got the best shot in the game. And then now his Golazo card, should I say. Has probably got the best shot in the game. Now, his finishing is class. He's a very dangerous striker. And the reason why is because he can do everything. He's not only fast. He's got great shooting. He's got great dribbling. He's got great agility and balance. Amazing dribbling. Amazing physicality. I've always found Ferenc Pushkas to be stronger than what his stats say. And he is a physical specimen. Now... Ferenc Pushkas is a fraction of the price that he used to be, which is why, I mean, look at that finish right there. It just shows you the level this striker's at. Now, we're playing this game in April and still this card is extremely good. Like, it just shows you the level of this card. Now, I know he's got a three-star weak foot. I get that his right foot isn't the best. I 100% I I get that. And I think to myself... A good centre-half, somebody who knows how to defend well, is going to always predict you in the sense like they're going to predict your movements in the sense that they know you want to, well, you want to shoot with that left foot. And I think that's where it comes down to just using his dribbling. His agility and balance is also amazing. Then he's got really good long shots as well. And I feel like majority of the time he gets lucky, he gets a bit jam, gets jammy because the reason why I'm saying that is because he's got incredible attack attack positioning with incredible shot power. And goalkeepers bless them, they don't know what hit them. So you have to factor all this in. This guy is just one of them type of strikers that you just don't want to come up against. Even now, I think to myself, of course, this card is unbelievable. I'm not going to give him an S tier because for me personally, you need to, you can't be S tier and have a three star week for you. You just can't. But I still think to myself, in this stage of FIFA, by the way, I'm saying that I think in the beginning of the game, when the first game, when the game came out and you had this card, of course, this card was S tier. No doubt about it. Ferenc Pushkas in the start of the game, you're getting smacked up. Like, you're getting destroyed by this guy. But of course, we're coming up against centre-halves that are unbelievable now. And uh, it, it just makes it difficult, you know, playing the game where, you know, you're using these uh, very meta icons in the start of the game that might have flaws. But now them flaws are more visual. They're more, you know, they're showing themselves as liabilities now more than ever. But I still think to myself, wow, Ferenc Pushkas, what a striker you were. I mean, this guy never lets you down in our striker position, and I love him to bits, man. If you love Messi, you're going to love this guy, honestly. With the reduction and uh, removal of Maradona, I think Ferenc Pushkas is that icon with the left foot now. You know, he is just incredible. Uh, and you can see from the gameplay, he's dangerous in April. What day is it today? April the 8th, right? No, sorry. April the 9th. He's still a very dangerous ST. Thank you.